What's up, Optic Nation? My name is Ashley, or Optic Midnight, and first thing is first, I just want to say thank you guys for your increased support. You guys have been awesome. I've been posting the nation a lot more uh, ever since Modern Warfare 3 came out. I've started a new series with Jewel, Girl Talk. Very exciting. We should have another episode of that up soon. Um, I did a dual com with Rated. I did a super serious commentary, and now I'm just here to uh, do a random commentary kind of with you guys. I got this gameplay on C-Town, and... Usually I like to make sure my free-for-all gameplays are shorter than like five minutes um, because, you know, I, I know it can get kind of long to watch a long video. But this is a, a larger map, C-Town, on free-for-all. You know, people are a little bit harder to find. But I do feel like this gameplay has really excellent moments. There's actually two keys about this gameplay. There's a really awesome streak towards the middle, and then there's an awesome fucking kill cam. So if you guys are into that, um, I think that you guys might enjoy the gameplay if you do. I, I'm, I'm just glad because I enjoyed getting it um, and the as you can see in the title of the video this is a QA, and a and I usually wouldn't do these for nation but the response to mine and Jules uh, Q&A was really good and I thought that you know maybe it would be cooler for me to do like a solo Q&A with you guys to kind of like you know help you get to know me better and then you know I'll ask you guys a question at the end and I'll get to know you better so uh, yeah um, let's just get started I got these questions off of my Facebook and Twitter so if you ever want to be involved in these question and answers videos uh, go like my Facebook and follow my Twitter and you'll definitely know when I'm looking for questions so question number one from Jamzilla do you prefer Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3 I would have to say that I definitely prefer Modern Warfare 3. I know that Black Ops was a much more balanced game, it felt, um, but it was also really slow paced, and I feel like the sniping was just off. You know, you could say, like, sniping was fun for a little bit, but it just got to the point where, you know, because they made it so you couldn't uh, quick scope quickly, if, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, you know, that made it a lot harder to play on smaller maps with the sniper and. Sniping was definitely more like traditional in that game, but I'm I'm the kind of sniper where I just like to Like look at for instance here. I'm in this building What no real-life sniper is gonna be sitting in a building like quick scoping back and forth But I'm in I'm in this building. I'm holding it down, you know I'm, I'm defending it and I'm going on my little kill streak So I just I like Modern Warfare 3 overall as a game better than Black Ops, but uh, that's just personal preference, you know uh, question from my Facebook from Cody says besides the type 95 which gun do you think is the most overpowered? Um, uh, well, I heard that they patched the type 95 honestly I haven't played that much since the patch. Um, I kind of get all my gameplays like in <laughs> in like I'll, I'll play for like a couple days like no life the game and then I won't play again for a week but um the Type 95, it's overpowered, man, especially with Rapid Fire Red Dot. It's ridiculous. Close range, long range, it's it's a beastly gun. Especially in the right hands, it's the type of gun that makes a good player even better and a bad player good. So, um, it, it's one of those guns that can do that. I think that the dual, the dual machine pistol things, those are, come on, dude, get rid of those, <laughs> you know? I know the Akimbo G18s aren't like they were in Modern Warfare 2, but, uh, those, uh, FMGs and the other one, what's it called? I forget what it's called, but it's ridiculous. Um, I guess that would, I guess the next most powerful one would be the MP7, one of those submachine guns, but I, I mean, I don't really use them that much. I play mostly free-for-all and over 80 to 90% of the time I'm sniping, so that's that. Um, Dead Soul S. What do you like most about Optic? And that's a really good question actually because there's a lot of things that I like about being involved in Optic Gaming. Not necessarily just, you know, success on YouTube and all that stuff, but I think that the best thing about Optic Gaming is the fact that I'm able to be a part of something that's bigger than myself. So I'm able to be a part of an organization, um, you know, or a clan, whatever, that it's is here to kind of bring something different to the table. We bring sniper videos that we also do MLG and going to the MLG events and supporting my team, that's awesome. Like, being a part of something that is just bigger than one commentator or, you know, a couple of people that put up montages, like, it's sick. It's an amazing thing to be a part of and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Have you considered live streaming? Yes, I have. I, uh, I, I think I have a computer good enough to do it. I know I have good enough internet. I'm about to be moving. But uh, hopefully I'll get good internet when I move in. I'm going to try to buy the best one. And then uh, YouTube has set up live streaming for my channel. So I'm actually going to be live streaming a lot. Like, I mean a lot. So 
every day almost. So if you're interested in watching live streams or just want to see me, you know, dick around or answer questions while I play, whatever, you know, it's going to be on my personal channel on YouTube. So go subscribe to that if you're interested. And yeah. Jimmy Hall, any advice on becoming a commentator? Um, I've done a commentary about this. I've, I've done a commentary about advice on how to be a good commentator. Just some tips. Uh, that's on my personal channel. But if I had to give one tip to any commentator that's just starting on YouTube, is to be yourself. That's that's what I do. I mean, the person that you're listening to in these videos, this is a reflection of myself. And it. I think that as long as you're yourself and you're confident and comfortable with yourself, people will automatically like that because people are drawn to people with just natural interesting personality i guess so yeah um fiber optic five what a weird name uh says one call of duty for the rest of your life which one do you play i don't know about you guys but i'm gonna have to go with call of duty 4 that is the first call of duty i played they say that the first call of duty you played is probably the most the call of duty you're going to like most and i think that that's true i really do love call of duty 4 more than anything, I love the sniping, I love the ray guns, I love the maps, I, I just love it. If they could hit fix, hit detection, I probably wouldn't even play any other game, but. I'm Bruce asks, what is your favorite camo? I would have to say I have Red Tiger on in this uh, gameplay because I think that it looked cool. And um, I think Red Tiger looks really cool in all the Call of Duties, but Blue Tiger is my favorite because blue is my favorite color and it's just a beastly color. How did you re get recruited and why did you choose your gamer tag as Midnight? Um, I got recruited, there's a video about it actually, I'll put it in the description. If you don't know how I got an Optic, there's a whole video titled How I Got Big on YouTube, How I Got an Optic, stuff like that. So that's going to be in the description if you're interested in that. That will explain because I can't really explain the whole commentary again in like the next two minutes. So, And why did I choose my gamer tag as Midnight? My gamer tag actually was the same as my YouTube name, which was Threat Level Midnight, but people just kept calling me Midnight instead of, like, they wouldn't be, like, Threat Level Midnight. They would just be, like, Midnight. So I was like, dude, I should just make my name Midnight. And then made my name Midnight a couple weeks later. I'm changed to Optic Midnight. Uh, let me see. Last question. Who do you think is current the current dominating developer, Treyarch or Infinity War? Check out this kill cam, by the way. Check that out. Bam. What you know about that? What you know about winning free for alls with style? Anyway, my favorite developer would be Infinity Ward, although Treyarch does have much better fan base support um, based on like, support in their game. So, anyway, those are the questions. If you guys want to be participating in the next Q&A session, please follow my Twitter, like my Facebook, and go subscribe to my personal channel. Peace out.